Hello everyone, today we'll present you some less known features available inside Terrain Mixer package. Plain Terrain Plain Terrain can help you when you need flat or almost flat areas to place props and add foliage. Have in mind that you'll have to play with the shader nodes to get anything useful out of it. Start by reconnecting noodles and moving sliders left and right. In case you need more foreground details in your shot, there's also 10x10 10 10 meters terrain for close-ups. Additionally, you can blend your models with the plain terrain. This requires a bit more work and knowledge, although it's really not that hard. There is already a shader tree ready for you to start. All you need to do is set up your material and add it to the mix. For example, let's play with this model. You will copy and paste the node setup and add it to this object's material setup. If things get messy, just group parts of the tree. Connect like so and continue playing. AAA scans. Sometimes it's a lot easier to add realistic models to the scene, like these 3D scans that come with the package. You can move, scale, rotate and change their material. Get in touch if you need models of a higher quality. AAA tileable materials. These materials were also created with the help of the real world data. They can be very useful for walls, ground and even when combined with the 3D scans. Water. Terrain Mixer's water asset is a very simple one. You won't be able to get details like complex waves and foam, but it can work well when you just want to fill up the scene. We'll probably add more complex water systems in the future. Smart Volume. This one is used for mist and haze. And it's really powerful, but you'll have to be careful when working with it. It should be the only active object in the scene. In other words, hide the terrain object. This way, its preview will render a lot faster. Of course, you can unhide the terrain every now and then and check if it works for you. Cloud Systems There's quite a few cloud systems available, so we'll mention only a few. Let's start with the AAA clouds, which are also available as a separate product. Just drag and drop any or all three clouds that come with the package. You'll see that the object named AAA 3D Cloud Mat Controller will also be added. This one gives you additional control over the cloud appearance. The AAA 3D Cloud Shaper is the geometry nodes modifier already included with any of the clouds. Use it to adjust taper, scale and wind effect. Another option for adding clouds to your scene is called Smart Clouds. The most important thing to remember is to use the right camera, so either set the newly imported camera as your active camera inside the Scene Properties menu, or select the Smart Clouds object and choose the Working Camera from the Damped Tracked Object Constraint drop-down. You will find a lot of useful sliders under the Smart Clouds modifier menu. Simple Terrains Simple terrains are ready to use terrains, just drag and drop them to your scene. The height map and subdivision levels are already set and you can further adjust them. You can also play with the material node setup. If needed, render the snow, sand, grass, mask or color texture. Guest inputs Guest inputs bring additional height sources to the mix. For example, you can add a hill, a mountain or even a canyon, depending on the height source you use. Control the position, scale and rotation with the empty named GI controller. The geometry nodes modifier offers even more controls. Mask Geo Mask Geo system is similar to guest inputs in the sense that you can make changes to your terrain from inside the 3D viewer by moving around the objects that control mask shape and position. Of course, modifiers allow you to push things even further and even to work with masks that do not rely on scene objects. Texture and Shader Masks it was the first masking system introduced in Terrain Mixer. It still offers some useful features, so be sure to check it. Before you do, connect the texture mask output to the rest of the node tree. Image mask in Terrain Mixer GN is even more intuitive. Just paint on it and preview changes live. To see better what is going on, enable render quality geometry nodes modifier and set it to 1 or 2. Be careful not to go too high, otherwise your scene might freeze or crash. Various shader effects. If you want to add simple canyons, cascades or even waves, you can do so. You can even skew and distort your terrain. 
Be aware that these effects happen across the whole terrain. Texturing Texturing does not work the same inside Terrain Mixer and Terrain Mixer GN as those two are totally different node setups. However, if you feel like it, you can import your Terrain Mixer result inside Terrain Mixer GN as a height map and continue texturing your terrain there. Texture control modifier is only available in Terrain Mixer. For the time being, texturing in Terrain Mixer GN is only possible from inside the shader node tree. Terrain Baked Example Users often ignore this collection, although it's a very useful one. Every time you bake your terrain design as a displacement map, you can test it with the terrain baked height map example. As its name suggests, it's for testing height maps. But there's also material that you can play with. Replace the default height map with your own inside the texture properties menu. Instances The last on the list of the less known terrain mixer features are instances. You can instance your objects across the terrain evenly or based on the weight paint, texture, height range and proximity. And that's it. Please get in touch if you would like to see some new features inside the terrain mixer. Cheers!